Hello, everyone. I'm Chen Ji from Nanjing University of Science and Technology. I will present our work, Pattern Guided Fire Compression with User Experience Enhancement for Log Structured File System on Mobile Devices. This is a collaborative work with National Jiao Tong University, City University of Hong Kong, Tsinghua University, and East China Normal University. This is an overview of my presentation. Mobile devices like smartphone, tablet, and wearable devices are gaining great importance in daily life. Among the mainstream mobile operating systems, Android is the most popular open source one. IO performance had a great impact on the overall system performance of mobile devices. For mobile systems, excessive write pressure can degrade both storage performance and lifetime. As the usage time progressed, the storage phone needs would increasingly go up. This heavy write pressure and the insufficient space can lead to a poor user performance. Compression has the potential to reduce write traffic and release storage space. In this study, we target to answer the motivating question how to perform the compression properly with user experience enhancement. IO patterns of mobile apps can greatly affect the compression efficiency. First, we examine the read and write patterns of SQLite and APK files respectively. These two kinds of files are the two major contributors of IO traffic for Android. As shown in the figure, the file reads and writes were quite small. Most of these small IO requests had random file offsets. For example, about one half of the write operations to SQLite were not larger than 16 kilobytes. However, these small file reads and writes would impose a penalty to the compression process. Sequential compression method is commonly employed by previous compression file systems, such as JFFS2. File blocks with consecutive offsets can be compressed in the same storage block. For example, assume three file write operations with discontinuous file offsets arrive at the operating system. With sequential compression, a new storage block will be allocated if a compressed file block does not continue the file offset with the previous one. As a result, although sequential compression has a low data mapping cost, much space has no choice but to be wasted in the physical blocks. On the other hand, read performance is a critical concern for decompression. Recently, EROFS is proposed to reduce the decompression penalty. However, small file reads could still degrade the read performance under the sequential compression policy. As shown in the figure, three orange blocks are compressed and stored with other blocks. Later on, these three blocks are required for reading. Since they were mixed with other blocks, the operating system had to load and decompress many irrelevant blocks. In this case, decompressing these file blocks triggered an increased block read frequency, which amplified the read overhead. Conventional compression has limitations for mobile systems. In this study, we propose a file pattern guided compression approach called FPC. First, foreground compression scheme is used to compress incoming write data. Small and write hot files are handled at this time. Second, background compression scheme is proposed to compress large files for space reduction with read performance awareness. The proposed two schemes are highly optimized for mobile IO patterns. Sequential compression on small random writes demands more physical blocks due to their discontinuous file offsets. <coughs> in contrast, our foreground compression eliminates this address constraint by allowing random writes to be stored in the same physical block. As shown in the figure, for the three file write operations, foreground compression consumed only one physical block after compression, which greatly enhanced the space utilization. Compressing large executable files helps save space, but how to reduce decompression penalty is crucial to read performance. Here, 
We expected how APK files were read from VFS layer for typical mobile apps. We found during the app code launching, the apps usually read a set of small fragmented file pieces, and their read patterns are highly predictable. In this study, we define the data of executable files that are exactly required for the app launching as read critical data. Conventional compression may mix read critical and non-critical data. On the other hand, compression provides an opportunity to reorganize necessary file blocks and reshape the read patterns. In our solution, background compression will compact the critical data and tightly compress them together. When decompressing a file block, the file system can also prefetch the remaining critical data in the same physical block. With this approach, the decompression overhead can be reduced. Our proposed FPC is implemented based on F2FS, which is a log-structured file system for mobile devices. By employing the auto-place updating right manner, compression with F2FS can avoid the right amplification problem during the data updates. Since we store multiple file blocks in one physical block, a sub-block level mapping is needed. To this end, we extended the direct pointers in F2FS inode and the direct nodes to index a compressed file block. Since the number of original direct pointers were reduced, our design slightly redu reduced the largest file size. However, the file size is still reasonably large for files on mobile systems. A physical block may be partially invalidated after data updates. Here, we adopt a block state table to keep track of the invalid status of compressed blocks. On the foreground compression, the largest number of compressed blocks in a physical block was set to five, which can balance the metadata overhead and the space reduction. For decompression, the operating system needs a file information to reconstruct the file mapping in the page cache. Our design exploits the existing physical to logical mapping of LFS to obtain this information. As shown in the figure, when reading the first file block LBN1, the file system will fetch the corresponding physical block PBN100. Meanwhile, by consulting the reverse mapping, the file system can also prefetch and decompress the other two file blocks together with LBN1. Through this approach, the overall decompression time can be reduced. We implemented the proposed FPC on an embedded development board for AOSP. We evaluated a set of related approaches, including the baseline of the original F2FS without the compression, conventional sequential compression with a four kilobytes compression window, and our proposed FPC approach. Based on a set of popular mobile apps, the foreground compression was evaluated in a scenario of SQLite rise, and the background compression was evaluated on the app launching scenario. As shown in the figure on the left side, FPC greatly reduced the writer volume of SQLite by about 48% compared to baseline. FPC also outperformed the conventional compression since it had a better space efficiency. On the other hand, FPC reduced the average write latency compared with baseline. In other words, the benefit of a reduced write amount was larger than the, than the compression timing cost. Next, we study the effect of compression ratio on write latency and energy consumption. From the figure, Although compression induced extra energy costs, FPC still achieved a lower energy consumption when the compression ratio was good enough. The results suggest when data were highly compressible, compression benefited both write latency and the energy consumption. Conventional compression made the app launching become sluggish because of the high decompression costs for small random arrays on executable files. In contrast, 
compared to baseline. LPC improved the app launching time by 5.2% on average. As shown in the figure on the right side, our background compression tightly compressed the read critical data into a few physical blocks and thereby reduce the block read number for launching the apps. Take a line as an example. Compared with baseline, LPC reduced the total block read number by about 80%, and thereby speeding up the app launching by about 50%. With FPC, the total executable file size of the invalidated apps was greatly reduced by 23.7%. Compared to conventional compression, our background compression method uses a larger compression window on read critical data for space reduction. These results indicate background compression method not only mitigated the space pressure, but also reduced the read penalty for decompression. In conclusion, in this study, we propose a file pattern guided compression approach to reduce write stress and save storage space for mobile systems. Experimental results based on a real implementation verified the advantages of our FPC approach against the previous approaches. That's all, thanks for listening.